Hi everybody, it's Isaac Murdoch and Christy Belcourt. And we're here to talk about Nimki Ajibakong, which is a camp we started up for the resurgence of our good ways on the land. Christy, what do you think about Nimki Ajibakong? First of all, like we're just starting here. It's apparently the site of an old MNR site. And, uh, and we're setting up camp here. There's lots of elders and youth coming and uh, people are really excited about it. I think one of the ideas about the camp is to start getting our young people, of course, connected back to the land. And that's always been our number one objective, I think, is to have land and waters be our teachers for our children. Right here where we are now is actually going to be the language sanctuary. So while the building of the camp is going on, um, we're going to have uh, some sort of tent set up here that's going to be just for language Anishinaabe and immersion only. Down here is a camping area where people are eating. This is where a majority of the cooking happens. All of the magic happens here. <laughs> so this is a pretty special spot. And of course, 140 years of Indian Act has taken a great toll on our people. And so this is part of the response, is saying, you know what, we're taking back what the Indian Act and what the government has tried to take away from us, which is language, which is land, which is being, you know, a free people in our homelands and our territories. And so this camp really is about the resurgence of being what Canada once deemed as the Indian problem, which we feel is, is free roaming nomadic indigenous people that want to exist in our territories like our ancestors. Come take a look at our shack. So this is a cook shack. Um, so we're building it. Uh, we have absolutely no idea what we're doing, um, but it is what it is. <laughs> and of course, we're hoping to put some tables in here so that elders can, can enjoy uh, a good meal out of the hot sun. Yeah, it'll be all screened in. It's gonna be a place where we can cook. It'll be like a community kitchen. It's sort of in the heart. It's in the center of, of this little thing that we're setting up here, this camp. So right here, we want to put like a 50 foot roundhouse made out of logs. Yeah, all the way here. All the way, yeah. Like all the way around. These will be gone. This will be the community place where people can gather, have ceremonies, and uh, maybe even start to instill traditional governance. This resurgence movement isn't just happening here, it's happening all over. We're seeing yeah. camps, indigenous people are, are really returning to the land. We, we're, we're connected in such a deep and profound way to the land and the waters that it, it's in our DNA, it's in our bones, it's in our blood, like we can't, we can't leave it. You know, earlier I was talking a little bit about what kind of elders do we want in 50 years? You know, do we want elders that speak the language? that know how to live on the land, that had that experience growing up, and of course we do, because we know that those are our climate leaders. This here is where we put all the bad kids. <laughs> um, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> what did the elders say they wanted here? What they wanted was some sort of a spot where they can come up here and sit and look at the lake. And so we're gonna be building stairs with platforms going down to the lake and this is also going to be a place where it's also it's a gateway into the forest. And so you can go by boat, you can go by canoe and go explore the land. And so this is a pretty important spot. It's probably one of our most important spots because it connects us directly right to the water. So what is it that people can do to help? Because lots of people have asked us, how can they help? Well, certainly people can can come here if they can, if they can't then, you know, certainly we always need supplies. I mean, everybody's got to eat. Also donations for things that we need as we're building the camp up. So say if you don't have money to give, which is good too, then you can also, if you have a generator kicking around, or you have some canoes that are just sitting in the garage for years and you have no use for them. Oh, trapper's tents? Trapper's tents. Yeah. And we're always looking for language instructors. Mm -hmm. You know, so if you're a language instructor or a teacher and you want to come hang out for a bit, we'd gladly take you. So this is it. This is Nimki Ajbekong. This is the place where the resurgence is going to happen. So we want to thank you all for watching and we'll see you soon. Miigwech. Miigwech. Hi, hi.